Here's the deal. Uh, yesterday I played through the next two stages of the escalation, and it went really well. Uh, and then Shadowplay ate it uh, in ways that made it both unwatchable and unlistenable. And you need one of those things uh, before YouTube accepts the video. And I didn't, I didn't have either of them, so, so that was a bust. Today I did the same. I, I recorded uh, them again, and Shadowplay uh, ate them again but in a, in a new way this time, which is at least an argument for uh, variety as far as uh, breaking things goes. So I'm gonna do it one more time, and if it breaks this time, I'm gonna switch over to another uh, recording software, which is a lot more inconvenient, but I think, I think probably won't do this. I don't know. I like Shadowplay because I can press two buttons and it will make the video for me, but uh, it does sometimes just uh, eat them, apparently. So this is the Scorpio Directive. Um, our new uh, uh, complication is that we have to hide all dead bodies within 90 seconds, or we fail. Which is fine, because we've done that already. Uh, we did that in the last video. Uh, we don't have to do anything new here. And I mean, obviously in addition to that, I've, I've now done this three times. Uh, so this has gone from being uh, an unrehearsed escalation to being uh, an extremely rehearsed escalation. Uh, I'm going to bring in a lockpick. Um, I've said before that I don't really... Uh, I don't really mind Hitman's repetitiveness, for reasons that will become clear as I record more videos. I think it's it's really interesting. Uh, what I mind more is uh, trying to work out how to be funny and engaging over... over doing the same series of events over again. So this has sort of become... Uh, sort of become an existential game recording challenge at this point. Uh, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> we'll be fine. He says, embarking on this level again. If you want to picture what this video was like on both previous times, imagine it occurring exactly the same uh, in terms of gameplay, but just uh, all the jokes were funnier. I didn't sound as tired. So we're gonna go get Rocco's, Rocco's, uh, Rocco's trousers. Not make the same mistake that we made last time. Uh, where we just assassinated the man. Rocco! Disguised as a hitman. I don't know if this is a traditional hitman outfit. I use the outfit of, of Holiday Boy 47. This has got to be like the ideal assignment for him. The next mission uh, in the game, the next map, takes place in a sort of uh, uh, a destabilized political situation in Morocco. Uh, and I imagine 47 doesn't enjoy that one as much as just like hanging out in this in this sunny seaside town. You'll notice that some of the textures haven't popped in. That's because... Uh, <laughs> This game is determined to to kill my computer. Okay, so that's that. In both of the previous videos, I did uh, uh, separate uh, good jokes about stealing Rocco's clothes, and this time I just don't have it in me. I'm gonna try and avoid a did both times. Ah, okay, so that's the first time I've never bumped into that woman. Which is good, I suppose. I promise, I promise, after this escalation, if, uh... If this goes well, if, if Shadowplay doesn't eat this, I promise that, that uh, we're gonna be breaking new ground in the next... I won't have actually seen... A true culinary artist! Oh, thanks. Wow. Imagine just saying that to someone on the street every time you see a chef. It's actually quite a quite a nice idea, but uh makes the chefs feel valued. Ah, okay, so a thing that I noticed when I watched the previous videos, all of them, is that I uh I use instinct mode uh, a lot. Often very briefly. And I do this for several reasons. I it's good to see through walls. You can see people's outlines. It's good to see who will recognize me. 
Obviously, it's good to see my targets. Um, but the main reason I like it is that when you activate it, uh, the game actually goes into slow motion very slightly. And it's not much of a slow motion, but it's enough to make slight repositions uh, when things are getting hairy or whatever, or give yourself enough time to think about how you're going to do it. So I've developed this sort of subconscious reflex of turning it on. Uh, every time I sort of sense, like automatic braking, every time I sense that something's about to go bad, I'll, I'll turn on the instinct mode. Okay, here we go. So this time we have to hide all of the bodies within 90 seconds, which is going to be very easy, as I will demonstrate. Done. In both of the previous videos at this point, uh, or rather in the videos that got eaten, I went down to the other end of town to show you uh, another way to exit the level on a speedboat. Uh, and it was at about that point that the game started breaking, so I'm just not going to tempt fate this time. If you want to imagine it, uh, imagine uh, into a speedboat in a sort of uh, slideshow uh, in which you can only hear the beginnings and ends of my individual words. That's that's the experience. I love this tree. Let's go again, perhaps. Oh my god. <laughs> Take a contract out on that man. Uh, fun fact, as I found out, if you uh, get in the car now when this man's standing in the road, uh, 47 just runs him over, uh, and you actually lose points for killing an innocent civilian. So I'm just gonna wait until he gets out of the way. God, music's so loud. Okay, so that's that escalation out of the way. That's going to be a cool five stars. Or five, um... I don't know, I th that's the symbol of his organization, of 47's organization, but I don't know what it's supposed to... what it's supposed to be. Okay, next level. If we pacify anybody, we fail the mission. So, uh, the game considers pacifications to be, like, knocking someone out, uh, which, uh, would be a problem if we had to get into a situation where we had to knock somebody out, or if we had to get an item by knocking somebody out or whatever, that would fail the mission in this case. But again, um, we don't, we don't do that in this, we, we just go into the room and, and kill the gelato chef. Um, so really, rather than an escalation at this point, what you're watching me do is play a, a level uh, several times. It's not so much themes and variations as it is, uh, just themes, really. Um, but I know what the next escalation is because I've <laughs> done this several times, and I, I think the next one's going to get more interesting. Um, I'm sorry that the first one I, I decided to show off blind wasn't the most uh, sparkling escalation. I like that there's a doorbell outside. We can ring the door. We can ring the doorbell. Hello, it's me. I'm in the house. Who lives here? Ah, oh, yes, it's my terrible neighbor whom steal my trousers. <laughs> Forty-seven moves in and uh, into this place, and he's immediately just like, "See that man up there? I'm gonna steal his trousers." Oh, I shoved her again. Don't know about you. I have an appetite. Security number in my passwords. Sure. There, are, I'm coming across conversations that I have not heard, despite having played maybe 20 hours of this map. Um, so that's kind of amazing. Hey, there's a weird signage thing up there that I hadn't noticed before. Players don't look up, I guess. Cool set of stairs. Watch out for the guy in the window who will spot me sometimes if he goes to the window. Or I guess when he goes to the window. That's Window Chef. 
His job is to make sure that no hitmen come in and kill the gelato chef who lives downstairs. That's window chef. This guy's basement chef. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to come out. Lots of waiting in this game. Um, I'm gonna wait behind this van. <laughs> no hitmen here. Hey, Carlo, is there someone hiding behind that van? No, absolutely not. 100%. It's definitely not Rocco. Very small car. Very, very tiny car. Oh, do you want to come past? Can you get past okay? Cool. He's just staring at me. He just came out from behind the red van and he stared at me. Yeah, that's Rocco. He's got a terrible neighbor. <laughs> okay. Pow. Hide all their bodies. And look at the exit. Okay, having some having some issues with the stairs here. I really hope this video <laughs> I really hope this video doesn't get all screwed up. I'll be very sad if it does. Make sure that I don't uh, hit and kill the man. I'm really sad I didn't get video of me uh, finding out that this was a possibility. I was uh, substantially shocked. Gonna be five stars, right? Great. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here, and now, provided that, provided that it doesn't get eaten, get beyond to new things.